Yeah. But yeah, so what's the crow child to do? The thrashing crow child fell from the nest half finished, which is rather unfortunate. Especially since being stuck outside of the nest when Halloween ends means falling apart, literally. Oh. Yeah. So we gotta get him back in the nest. Is that what I'm hearing? I guess we'll find out. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me move myself. Ooh. A whistle? Oh wait, shoot, I forgot. The I forgot to change the Ah! I forgot to change the wordings. Hold on. Okay. Uh not too bad. I I wouldn't expect anything bad. <laughs> <laughs> 
but um wild very discussions of death and anxiety out. The sound of a homunculus squeezing behind a laundry machine? What? <laughs> um, cool? Homunculus noises. <laughs> okay! Perfect. Okay, now. <clears throat> Missed. I feel like I'm still, like, like in the way. <laughs> A clo- a clo- nice one, she. Can we read? Alright. A crow collects a myriad of things, from soda caps to tarnished rings. A crow lives to gather coins and knives, and so a crow thinks these things make lives. And when a crow child doesn't live, a crow to child things will give. In hopes that it will be enough, a crow gathers trash, the brightest stuff. At least for this night, Halloween. May, may Trash Rain Crow Child come to be. Oh. <laughs> it. Uh. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Is anyone there? Where am I? Who am I? Oh, name? I guess it's us. Yeah, it's me. Shiro. So original, just using your own name. Thank you. Shiro. Actually. Shiro with a lowercase. <laughs> uh. Shiro, that sounds alright. But what am I? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Watch out! Oh my god! Crow mother. Hmm? Mm. Oh ho ho! It worked! It was enough! Well, no wings, odd feathers, but of such splendid, thinky, stinky things. Well, our old mom called us stinky, which I mean, I don't blame her. I, uh, I... yep, okay. So I wanted to move the mic a bit closer to me, but I feel like it might be too close. I don't know, let me know. What? What? You hatched, crow child, thrash wing, crow child, hatchling, crow child, crow mother's crow child. I knew you'd want to live. Ju you just needed the convincings. Oh yes, oh yes. If only I found enough glitter things. And tonight, the night of glitter and scraps. What luck, what luck. Oh, the sticky shines I found for you. So sticky, so shiny. Trash wing crow child. Trash wing crow child. My trash, my trash wing. Oh yes. That's my name. That's just not my name. That's my name. I suppose you would know best. So are we made out of trash then? So we're not an actual crow. We're... we're... okay. I do! And how does it feel on you? Do you want to stay living this time, please? I give you so many shinies for you to want. I, I do! I do! I think I just... Something just doesn't feel finished yet. I don't feel finished yet. It's not enough? Oh, it must not be enough. I need more, more, more treasures to fill your chest. Then you'll see. Then you'll be finished. Just hold on, hold on right there. Wait, wait, that's not what it meant. I... I'll be back, crow child. Oh, worry not. I'll be back, I'll be back. The silly waking things scatter so many shinies and sweets on this night. There's enough for you to be fixed. Ma? Oh, okay. That's not it. Please, wait. Wait! Oh, what? 
boing. <laughs> I think I need you. Maybe if I... Oh. No, we're wingless like a kiwi. <laughs> no, there's no way I have enough bones to climb my way up. Let's see. Cans, old pumpkin, candy wrappers. I wonder if any of them fell from the nest too. I wonder how many times this didn't work. I wonder what's different this time. If it even is different. Oh boy. Oh boy. What? Oh boy, oh boy. Melted candy corn and costume glitter. What a winning combo. Minor spill. Sure, sure. Who even carries around that much fake blood? Ugh. Oh my god! Hey, you a sad, pathetic man. <laughs> uh. Yeah. What a sad, pathetic man. Who, who said that? Also, hey, come on, man. <laughs> oh. Oh wait, you got freckles? Okay, I gotta change your voice. <laughs> so, uh, I'm Teddy. Nice to meet you. Are you a homunculus? Did Queen send you? Normally our aesthetic is more and more academic. Oh what? You're a homunculus? <laughs> I did put, uh, uh, Bassy in the title, didn't I? Yes. Alright, you're a homunculus? <laughs> Well, you've got her humor, uh, but I didn't think she'd make a homunculus with a voice routine yet. What name was she u was used to animate you? Um, I. Hmm, I'm starting to see a branching pattern. <laughs> okay, then I'll go through being like, oh yes, I am Crow Child, and then I'll go back around and do the other one. I try to name myself, but. I don't think it's gonna stick. Crow Mother made me, and she said I'm Crow Child, so maybe I'll try that for a bit. I didn't think it was possible. And Crow Mother is. I fell from her nest, up on the streetlight. She should be back soon. She's just getting more shinies to fix me up a bit. I think I need to get back up there, and it's important. I haven't figured it out yet. Who's Queen? Oh, uh, she's my teacher, I guess. She'll know what to do. Maybe she can figure out how to get you back up there. Also, this guy just talked about, like, homunculi. Homunculus? A homunculus? A homunculi? I don't know the terminology. But, like, very casually. So, what, this teacher just make a homunculi every single Friday? <laughs> just another Tuesday. Is this a school? If you're a student, can you get me on the roof? Maybe I can jump across. Uh, oh, you just hopped on. You just hopped on there, didn't you? Guess that's your shoulder now. Yes. Okay then. This is a school. I'm not exactly a student. I'm a janitor, but I'm also a, a witch, in theory at least. In practice, not so much. I'm here to learn from Queen, who's like a prodigy. But I'm here here because they need staff in the building while the Halloween party is going on. But there's no way you're gonna make it from the roof without wings. I could grab Queen, get her opinion. She'll have an idea. That would be great. You think she'd help? Uh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. One sec. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know Queen was a cat girl. I was expecting a crown. Alright. <laughs> Shut up. Is her name even Queen? <laughs> I don't know, I just- I thought- okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, 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 What do you want? I'm kinda in the middle of something. Alex gonna embarrass himself if I don't get back in there. Sorry, sorry, it's just- Well, I was tossing around the, out the bins and found this. Listen, Teddy, I don't want to see whatever weird trash you- Hello? Is that a homunculus? Why is it so- is this a spontaneous homunculus? I think so. Says they were made by, like, an actual literal crow, but that seems unlikely. Uh, making the homunculus requires so much repeated intent. Obviously a witch could do it, and they pop up in waterfalls and rain spouts a lot, but 
this is definitely weird. Oh, what, what would a crow even want that would create enough juice? Oh, what would a crow even want that would create enough juice? Oh, and what do you know? Aren't you supposed to be a witch? You look more like a cat. I bet at least Teddy has a broom and manners. It's Halloween! Dressing up as a witch would be a little cliché, right? Dressing up as a cat is just as cliché. <laughs> also, he has a mop, not a broom. It might be a broom. Well, one day... <laughs> he distinctly flunked broom making. And the whole school doesn't need to know I'm a witch, crow thing. Oh, uh, the whole school doesn't need to know I'm a witch, crow thing. That'd be more trouble than it's worth. But while no one's looking... Oh? That tickles. <laughs> Weird. You shouldn't be able to feel anything. Well, maybe you're not so great as you think. No, I mean you shouldn't be able to feel anything. It takes a lot of effort to make a homunculus, let alone let one with a voice. Let one, let alone one with a voice. Double, let alone one that can actually speak. I had no idea how you happened. I told you, my crow mother made me. I think I need to get back to her. Well, you're right about that. What, what do you mean? Well, he's a bit cobbled together. No mandrake root, no iron shavings, not even any pine sap, as far as I can tell. Uh, I have bubble gums in me. That's something. How old are you? About 20 minutes, I think. You shouldn't be up and about. You haven't even had time to set in place, or for any sort of name to sink in and hold you together. You're unconventional construction. Plus, it being Halloween, might hold you together pretty well for now. But if we don't find a way to get back to your, get you back to your nest by midnight, you'll fall apart. Oh, oh. But hey, on the bright side, cause you're unstable and made of trash, we could probably shove anything in there and it'll take. Making you some wings or claws or something shouldn't be too hard at all. Oh, uh, if we're looking for something that'll help you glide from the roof, we could probably rummage the janitor's closet. There's all sorts of heavy-duty plastic and bags in there that we could stretch out. Um, is the convenience store open? The one across the street? I think so. It's one of those 24-7 things. Perfect. We should probably buy some rubber bands. Give you some extra lift power, in case the roof alone can't get you high enough. I appreciate that. What if I land short, though? Oh, can you give me, like, super cool talons? For grip! That's a witchy thing to have on hand, right? <laughs> I'm in a school. I'm at a normal high schooler. Also, no, like, in general. I might be able to pull something from a costume, though. I'm sure it is something that will work in the gym. Okay, we don't have much- we don't have enough time to try all three, but we shouldn't need to. Just two going successfully should be enough to get you up there. Or even just one of the options if we do it perfectly, so yeah. So what to try first? Power! Tis claw guy. <laughs> Let's glide. <laughs> Uh, I think the glider is the most reasonable one, but power! Sounds good. Corner store, here we come. Fuck yeah! What? what? It's locked! Uh, the lights are still on. We could try going it through the laundromat. Oh. They're closed. Aren't convenience stores always open on Halloween? I feel like that's a thing. Uh, no? Why would that be a thing? So much for convenience. Maybe they're out trick-or-treating? They left the laundromat open, at least. Oh, we could break in via the connecting door! Hey, Crow Kid, if I pull off one of your legs and stick it in there, do you think you can pick the lock? What? <laughs> uh, maybe? I've never tried to separate myself, but I don't see why not. No, no, we can't- we can just figure something out in there. Uh, hmm. What about socks? They have a stretchy part, right? We could use that instead. Socks? Socks. That could work. I lose socks to those dryers all the time. There's probably a ton of clogged machines, and I'll have enough tools on me to get you in the back. You could crawl in there, and we could tell you which ones to pop open. I'm not opposed. I think I have an intensive fascination with ductwork. That's a strange thing for a newborn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> as long as you're cool with it, Crow. Perhaps all singed and dusty back there. Not a problem, Miss Miss Witch. I've got a lot of dust in me already. 
Yeah, but I wouldn't want to crawl through, like, a flesh tunnel if I'm made of flesh. Alrighty then, just gonna ignore that lovely image. Don't worry, this is ha that's happened in like four games now. <laughs> I'm so used to that image. <laughs> Crow Child, I've got the axes open. You good to go? Yep, look out, Flesh. Here I come. Oh. <laughs> Please stop talking about Flesh. Ignore him, Crow Kid. I'm the boss. Y yes, sir. Okay. Okay, there are three machines with the clog light on right now. A super old beat-up one, a newish looking one, and a very classy pink one. I thought you hated pink. Doesn't mean I can't know when it's classy. And this is classy. I'm full of- <laughs> I'm full of mat multitudes and shit. What? Ah. Uh, anyway, let's try to do this quickly. I don't know how many wrong guesses we have, but the owners will be back soon, and you don't have that much time anyway. We also can't really tell what you're looking at from this side, so which one- which do you want directing to? Old, newish, or pink? Oh, old, newish, or pink? Either ask for directions or pick a red pin and pull! Uh... oh, okay. Um... pink for sure. Okay, pink is right below the old one. Actually, I wonder if they just repainted it to, to match the rust strips. It works though, aesthetically, so no complaints here. No, I have complaints. Okay, pink is below the old one? Where's the old one? See, it should be the middle row. It should be the middle row of that block you're looking at. All the way on the left. What? What? Right. What? It's our left, so from in there it's on the right. Oh, right. Right, right. Oh, okay. So pink should be this one? Got it! <sighs> Most of these are pretty chewed up, like crumbly. I didn't know socks would do that. Elastic's still good though. You should see the ones I had to clean out from the gym stores. I started to feel like, oh my god, <laughs> I was I was gonna like roll back, but whoa. Here's the thing, because I did I thought this was gonna be red pie, but then it's obviously not red pie. And um interesting backlog. Ooh. Followed high dialogue fast forward tells. You should see the ones I had to clean out from the gym stores. I, f I swear they felt like styrofoam. Ugh. Oh, that's shit. That was titty. <laughs> oh, sorry. My voice sounded weird for a sec. Wait, you actually clean stuff? Yeah. What do you think I do? You pass me in the halls like every week. I never noticed, I guess. I thought it was just a cover or something. What? No, I have an actual job here. I'm not just your apprentice. Huh. Is Teddy the same- No, Teddy's not a high schooler, right? Because Teddy's a janitor? Okay. Uh, wait, we're still pulling? Below the old one. Old? What is it? New machine is diagonally up from the pink one. It's quite like, it's actually quite the nice assortment of colors and finishes up here. <laughs> Who cares? Diagonal from the pink one? Like this one? But this wasn't the pink one. Was this the pink one? I don't even know. Ugh, not too many socks in this one. Mostly dust. Must be too new. Oh, careful. We don't want to make too much noise. Relax, you're wearing a jumpsuit. They probably just think you're fixing them. Which we kinda are. There's like a whole puck there's like whole pucks of dust in these ducts. Pucks, dude. Pucks. Like you know that you know that one brush that they were advertising on YouTube Shorts and TikTok or whatever, where you can brush your cat and make like pucks with its fur. <laughs> oh, save one for me. Yeah, but the owners know my face. They know. Relax, if anything goes wrong, I'll just fix it once I have my wand back. I can fix it. Can't we just try to prevent the bad thing from happening now? You know you're allowed to fix things before they break too, right? Gwyn? Let's just keep going. I'll put a basket under it this time. Are you good, Gwyn? You don't have to stick around, you know. I don't want you to miss the party. 
Please, they saw me show up. That's all they really wanted from me anyway. Plus here, I know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm wasting time up there. I thought you were like, a popular kid. Aren't you supposed to be holding shoulders with friends, jumping off beats to whatever song vaguely made the Halloween mix this year? That stuff's great. I mean, kinda. But if I stay too long, they just want more. That's how I got roped into track. In the math competition. And engineering. Even tutoring you. Better leave them wanting more. That's the trick to being popular anyway. Sorry. Uh, no, I didn't mean like that. If I wasn't tutoring you, I'd be some other family's kid. It'd be some other family's kid. I'm 26. <laughs> so, you're still their kid, aren't you? Anyway, don't worry about it. At least that answers my question. Are we just- are we just here to... pull all the pins? Okay. Oh, nearly there! It's only popped halfway. Looks like there's some dust ma rust making it stick. Gwen, do you know- Oh, do you think you can hand me some of that lint over there? We could do a minor transmutation. I know what's in rust solvents by heart. It shouldn't be too hard. Lint and rust be gone aren't exactly up there among the 52 prime re regions, you know. Yeah, but I don't have any of those memorized. And unless you know how to get black bile or our friferous soils to unstick a panel. Could probably do it with caloric or some fulgist. Dude, I fail chemistry and biology. Please don't do this to me. But I don't think I could derive either from lint or an actual wand, so be my guest. Hey, hey, not too shabby at all. I had absolutely no face that would work. You've got it. You've got to map it out for me in your next lesson. Th thanks. I wasn't sure if it would work either. All right, Teddy. Shit, I think the owners are back. Uh, uh crow child, get out of there. We're bouncing. Um, uh, I can try to stall them. Do it, do it. We'll meet you back outside the gym. Okay. Not a bad haul. <laughs> I had to let them guess my favorite scented detergent. I didn't even know I had one. Well, don't leave us hanging. What's the lucky scent? Minerals. Apparently. It's always good to learn something new about yourself. Well, regardless, we have time for one more try, just to be safe. What'll be, Crow Child? Let's... I think I want another name, actually. Ooh. Too, that, too bad we're doing something else. It's gliding time. Oh, I don't think you want to join this one, Quinn. It's gonna be... It's gonna be a run to the supply closet. Also, I don't know if I want to do gliding now that I think about it. <laughs> Whatever, we're already here. We can do claw time later. Sweet peace. Though, if you still have that confiscated crate of Ghost Blast TM root beer, grab me a can. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Just drops us on the ground. So, uh, this is it. I like it, actually. It reminds me of my internal organs. Or, like, the things pretending to be my organs. You know what I mean. Probably? <laughs> you! It's sparkly. It's full of objects and bits and bobs, and they all have uses and histories and are bundled up together. I'd like to think I'm like that inside. And so much trash. <laughs> that's the world- that's the wonder of a janitor's closet, I suppose. And I think you are, Crow Child. That sounds nice. Um, anyway, let's get started. We can use some sort of membrane, I think. Some bags stretched out, maybe. How do you feel about the sandwich baggies? I intrinsically love them. Perfect. This should just take a moment, then. <laughs> just gotta stretch it all to the right shape. So... Uh, I'm sorry. You can go find Quinn if you want. Or you could stick around and help tweak it. This shouldn't be too much longer, though. It's nothing special as is. Sounds good to see you soon. No! I'll stay and help. I'll help. I actually wanted... <laughs> I actually wanted to ask about that, if you don't mind. About Quinn and being a witch and all. Oh, uh, sure. What do you want to know? How exactly did you two meet? Well, it's not like there's a ton of witches around. You tend to stay quiet. Just help folks or ghosts when you can, and just learn from each other in old books. But, uh, I'm not great at, like, magic. So, the general idea is that when you're not learning well from witches with... Uh, when you're not learning well from the witches you're with, you need a different method. And Quinn is the best witch in, like, the entire state, basically. What? She's just a hatchling. 
she's just really driven, I guess? But yeah, it was either this or hanging around my parents' auto shop anyway, so I chose this. Got a job as a janitor to make it work, and here we are. Wow, that sounds difficult, being kicked out of your flock. No, no, I wasn't kicked out exactly. I think my family just really just wants what's best for me, to see me happy, and they've seen me through a lot. I changed my name a few times myself, actually. They probably would have been fine with me staying there, even. I just, I feel like a burden, you know? Of course, now that I am in the high school, being a burden to someone as young as my little sister, and, uh, and I'm still so bad at magic, I can't even do anything to help. And Quinn's great, harsh sometimes, but I really am learning stuff. Just slowly. But she works herself too hard to be to be that great. I can see I can see it in our lessons and when I'm walking the halls and I don't know how to help. Or even if I could, you know. Oh. I haven't been much help to anyone before. <laughs> you could leave again. No! You're helping me now. Thanks, Crow Child. We do what we can. You know, there's one piece of magic that would be pretty hard to mess up. Really? What is it? Well, we don't have any wands or brooms, but we do have the potion ingredients I wrapped earlier for tomorrow's lesson. Making a generic just boost everything potion would be as simple as shoving as much as possible into a bottle and shaking it up. Me not being able to focus in it me not being able to focus it into a proper spell is probably even better for this one, if anything. Like a magic energy drink. Yeah, exactly. But how do you know what an energy drink is? Um, I think my right hip is the tab from a can of Ocean Mist plum Pummel <laughs> TM. Oh, neat. <laughs> okay, so what we need to is to shove as many ingredients in as can fit. Once they're in a the bottle, though, we can't take them out without messing up the whole potion, so think ahead, okay? Oh boy. I'll set out some of the best options. You take your pick from there. It's your body after all. Okay, um, I'm gonna save real quick just in case I fuck up bad. Oh wait. Uh, oh, that's for my lunch. We could put it in, I guess? Second thought. Um... Does this- wait, I can see the vision, but does it go in like this way facing- like this way facing? I can't like turn it around, I'm assuming. Uh, it's okay, I've played so much Tetris for this. Don't worry, I got this. I've got it. Yes. Dust level leavings, swept up by yours truly. Surprisingly stiff. Should it go in? Yep. What's next? A bunch of staghorn sumac berries. I've been meaning to make pink lemonade with those. Are they, are they what you want? We can make pink lemonade out of those? What? What's next? Leaves? Old leaves. Put them in? Yep. What? Oh, wait. It's fine. Okay. Lose acorns from the ditch outside. Yes. What? I think that's maximum possible. Nice going. Wait, but I couldn't fit the sandwich on top? No way! I mean, well, Teddy says it's fine, so I guess it's okay. Now to give it a bit of a shake. Alrighty then. We can let this cool off in the bag. It should be ready to attach by launch time. The texture, though, through the bag seems kind of like old salad. Uh, I'm into it. Uh, great! Let's go tell Quinn. Queen. Quinn. Fuck. Is it Quinn or Queen? Oh no. Maybe it's Quinn. <laughs> um. <clears throat> we're just gonna continue with Queen, and then through the next playthrough, I will do Quinn. <laughs> Maybe it is Quinn, actually, now that I think about it. That makes way more sense than Queen. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, not too shabby. Maybe I should be giving you more of my old potion notes. You might have a knack for it. 
Oh, uh, thanks. Back to the mission, though. We have a time. We have time for one more try, just to be safe. What do we? Oh, shoot! That's my alarm. It's nearly midnight. Now or never, crow child. Uh, oh, I will uh, unlock the roof access. Let's go. Oh, this is it. Is that your nest over there? In the light? Yep, th that's the one. It looks cozy. <laughs> Boing. Uh, enlarge. I'll, uh, I'm back with my broom tomorrow to, to check up on you in the nest. I like that. We could try to formally reinforce your spell by offering your crow mother a familiar ship. That way her lifespan would extend to match contra contract terms, and it should carry yours with it, assuming you're still bound to her, which is the law of- uh, uh, Quinn? Uh, uh, right, right. Let's put you together, crow child. Carefully stretch sandwich back wings, carry you across. And, uh, filling. <laughs> Sock elastic tendons, powers of stuff. And in a nice variety of colors. Nice. Ooh. <clears throat> Looking good. Well, what do you think? Does it feel like everything's meshing in? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's a bit of patchwork and my thoughts are swirling, but it feels like me. Thank you. Here's to it being enough. See you on the other side. One last time, to reinforce it for, reinforce it for the spell. Who are you? Uh, oh, child, I'm having, <laughs> I'm going through a different ending right now. Oh, child, good luck. <laughs> See you on the other side, crow child. See you tomorrow. Nero! Nearly, nearly. Crow Mother, Crow Mother, where are you? Crow Mother? Please, I, I, please. Oh. Ah, Crow Child, I found all these shinies and still some sweet and sticky. Here, let me give you. Crow Mother, Crow Mother, I, I need to stay here. I'm sorry, but I do. Why wouldn't you? This is your nest, is it not? Here, have some tin foils. But I'm not the same. I'm different than the egg. I've had more put into me. That happens. But I'm not what you want. I'm not complete. Not in the right way. Not in the way that you want. Y you you said so yourself. Oh, crow child. What I want for you is to live. I gave so many shinies to you. So many quiet eggs. And it worked! Enough that you want life. I don't care what you need to be made of. You found things that are sparkly in you. You found yourself shiny in you. You find interesting smell and shape and make it you and here you live. You make yourself a thousand, thousands of times. As much wrappers and bones as you need. And I am here. Happy. Happy that you are here and found a way to want to be. I... Tell me what you need your wing trash to be, and I'll find it for you. No egg else wanted to live. No egg else fledged. I will not let- I will not tell you to be a way that doesn't make you want to be at all. You have a new trash wing? I did not give. Y yes I met some friends, I think. Then tell, tell! You can help me clean the stickies and make new shining feathers of the wrappers. And it is good, the sticky, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it is good. Oh. Maybe at the end there I was supposed to just put my own name. <laughs> I kept thinking that maybe there is like a good bad ending and I had stumbled onto the bad ending route of being Crow Child instead of being who I was. Oh, cool transition. Okay. Um, but it seems like that doesn't 
really matter if you start out that way, because it, it still ends sort of with you in your own name. Hmm. I wonder, though. There's still, there's still a bit more, though. So watch the fast forward. <laughs> Doing. I am Shira. Oh, I like it. Wait, no, I don't want to. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Oh, it worked. Okay. Is there a way to text speed? Fast forward speed. Fast forward past unread text. No way. Uh Okay. I guess it's fine. Wait, I thought I was fast forwarding. That's not my name. <laughs> my name is Shiro. I decided it. I like it. And what would you know of such things? I pulled myself together, alone in her nest. I existed and needed naming. I'm not done. I can I can feel it. Oh, I collected your shinies. I made you want to live. I made you. I made you. Wait, I... It's not enough. Well, it must not be enough. I need more, more treasures to fill your chest. Then you'll see. Then you'll be finished. Just hold on, hold on right there. Wait, that's not what I meant. I I'll be back, crow child. Worry not, I'll be back. So they walking things scatter so many shinies and on this night and yeah blah 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 goodbye. <laughs> uh, whoa. Maybe if I... No... I'm not quite sure how to make the fast forward go more smoothly. <laughs> What a sad, pathetic man. <laughs> uh... What? Homunculus, a created creature, a fan voice work in theory. Which name was used to animate you? Um... I picked my own. I'm Shiro. I made myself. But Crow Mother made me want to, so maybe she did it too? I'm a little unclear on the details, actually. I'm eight minutes old. Oh, I didn't think that was possible. And Crow Mother is... I fell from her nest up on the streetlight. She should be back soon. She's just getting more shinies to fix me up a bit. I think I need to get back up there. It's important. I haven't figured it out yet. Miss Quinn. Oh, she's a student from the school and blah blah blah. Okay. Me one. I'm kind of busy in the middle of something. Okay. Oh, how to fast forward? I don't want to fast forward past unread text. Unless this is text I haven't read, but I have, right? That tickles. Here, you shouldn't be able to feel anything. It's claw time. Alright kid, you're with me for this one. You gotta pretend to be part of the costume, got it? Aye aye. Are you not good to go in on your own? I could come too if you want. Ugh, no. No offense, Teddy, but I need to be in the mass- be to be the masked up soccer star, Quinn, to make this work. Not witch teacher mode, Quinn. He'll cramp my style. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. 
I'll, I'll see what I can find out here in the meantime. Great, see you soon. We. Oui. Alright, let's do this. If you have any tips on what to say, whisper it to me, I guess. You're just here for moral support, though. I'm doing the talking. Why, you're the boss. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, why? Aren't you super popular? What do you need moral support for? <laughs> I am popular. Don't worry about it. But... Just shut it, okay? I said don't worry about it. Loads. <laughs> Okay. You know it. Just don't draw too much attention to yourself. If anyone asks, you're, uh, one of those normal puppets. Now, we don't have time to ask everyone, so who should I try first? Oh. Oh my god. The ghost bed sheet. Uh, anything to know about this one going in? Um, uh, hey, who's under there? Oh. <laughs> Oh, sorry, it's Grace from Precalc. I'm two rows behind you. Right, Grace! You have no idea who she is, do you? I've seen her, like, around. But no, I don't think we ever talk. I usually say stay near the front of the class. So nice to meet you, see you. Or, hold on, let me turn the music down a little bit. Okay. Um. That's what she's doing. Demand claws. Uh, that's what she's doing. Hello? Help. <laughs> Did I fuck up? Oh no! Why isn't it working? What if I just go from here? It's not working! What? It's saying that I can click it though. The reason it's not letting me. What? Oh wait, no, I can't click this one either. No, what's happening? No! 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 What? Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna point and click when I can't point and click. Ugh. Oh boy. Oh no. I think I clicked too much. The game's just like freaked out. Okay. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> uh. Apologies. Hello? Spooktober. Yes. Feather boy. Oop. Wait. I did not mean to do that. Okay. <clears throat> You're the boss. I just- I'll- I, I won't be too aggressive and I won't talk to Grace. <laughs> Sorry, Grace. Okay. Old friends of mine, we haven't really talked in a bit, though. I can handle this one. Mm. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> what are you wearing? Vampire costume. You said you wanted to be a magic couple, right? But you knew I was doing a Victorian thing, not whatever you grabbed from the 20, 20, 22 7 across the street. They were actually close. They were close, actually. I had to jog all the way to Popcorn. I had a close skip and everything. Hey, you know I was coming here straight from my game, and I wasn't gonna go and get a ball gown and sweaty. <laughs> also, I have no idea where to even find one. It's an evening gown, not a ball gown. Do you think I should put it? Uh. Probably not. See, I don't know everything. That's what I have you for. You can make me a dress, and I'll. I'll show you how to dunk. Fair? 
<laughs> so, I'll boost you or something. Plus, you look good in my older uniform. Like, I probably have a dress I can rehem for you. We could make a day of it or something. Oh, like, hell yeah! Ballin' and ball gowns! <laughs> Also, no, I dropped painting because AP Physics opened up. It's not a, just a free period. Well, what about one of your other free periods, then? Crew only needs to show up a few times near the end of the semester. Please? I don't have a free period. What? How? I just schedule a lot of classes. There's a lot to take. I need to eat. Very French. I'm doing fine. This brand is fine with it. I'm fine. Dude, you need... It's not... It's not like last year, so lay off, okay? Yeah, okay, okay. Let's go grab a lot here. Oh, oops. I've got a bunch of spares, just take whatever. Okay. The nice thing about having Twitch be lagging behind. Okay. <laughs> but, Maria, I... I'm fine, Quinn, okay? Don't worry about it. Right, thanks. I'll, uh, try to swing by auditions, just to see. I need to drop some other clubs anyway. See you there. See you around, Quinn. And drop some classes, really. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Jamie. Sure thing, dude. I'm always around. What was that about? Mary is really into old outfits and stuff. Like, really into them. It's cool, though. She and Jamie will be fine. No, the stuff about you. Oh. Um... Let me step outside for a sec. Sure. Boing. Enlarge. Okay. So, I'm a witch, as you know. Finding off vengeful, vengeful ghosts in my spare time. Helping spirits, growing pumpkins, healing people in ways that I won't notice. Standard protagonist stuff. Sure, sure. But I'm also doing AP classes and track and thinking about colleges. And I've been so good at it all for so long, and the thought of stopping or slowing down is paralyzing. Like, I can't sit still. I feel like I'm always forgetting something. I always need to be doing something. And when I'm not, I feel like I'm not doing anything. Like I'm immediately wasting all the effort I put in before. I can't turn off my magic, because I'm the most prestigious wish in a decade. And even on my off days, I get better results than what Teddy spits out in his best. I can't quit classes, because then I need to fill them with more classes. Or else no longer be on the track for my whole fucking life afterwards. I can't get sick, I can't go on school trips, I can't afford to be anything less than popular, I can't trust that I'm actually popular or that they just like me because I'm literally magically charming. I can't even date, because what if they only like me because I'm doing some spell without realizing it? I'm so, so, I'm tired. I used to hang out with Maria and Jamie a lot, but I'm tired. I can't right now, and I, I like what I do, and I want to do it all and more, but I'm so, so tired. Oh boy. <laughs> uh... You should talk to Teddy about this. Teddy? He needs my help, not the other way around. Maybe for witchy stuff, but he has done high school before. And I think he really does want to help. Maybe. You could help out too, if we fix this, you know? I think you'd be fun to have in lessons. Really? That would be great. I already know basic math. I think I have a receipt stuffed in my ribs. Totally. You sound- you're a model thing. Okay, who's next? Oh. We're still talking? Alright. So, what's this guy's deal? 
sports guy, same friend group. I tutored him once or twice. <coughs> Sorry. If he has a pin, he'll give it right away. Hey, Brent, what's up? Uh, hey, Q. It's all good. If you're looking for Alec, I think he's out with the rest of the team today. Ask more focus up. Uh, focus up? Look, you wouldn't happen to have any pins on you, would you? Oh, I did not mean- I thought focus up meant something else. <laughs> Oops. Uh, pins? Oh, no. Unless, like, I do have eclipse keeping the sling in place. Would that work? For sure, but aren't you using that for, you know, your whole arm situation? Yeah, I could just tie it off, as long as you help. Should be fine for the evening. Sick, thanks so much. Anytime. Well, that was one solid clip sorted. Actually, on second thought, I don't think I have another one on me. That's fine, it's time to head back anyway. Let's go. I... Thanks, Shiro. Oh, hey, how'd it go? Great, perfect. She was a natural. The experience of every item within me is integrated as the physical matter itself. Uh, great. We have time for just one more collecting, right? I've been figuring some strategies, but the choice between them is yours, Shiro. Oh. Shit, that's my alarm. It's nearly midnight. Oh my god, already? Now or never, Shiro. Uh oh. I'll uh, unlock the roof access. Let's go. What? I only did one thing. Okay. Will I make it? <laughs> well, this is it. Is that your nest over there? In the light? Yep, that's the one. It looks cozy. Indeed it is. Okay. Carefully stretched- Carefully stretched ba sandwich bag wings to carry you across. And, uh, filling. I thought we didn't do that, though. Some pins to catch you should you fall short. Sock elastic tendons. Powerful stuff. I didn't- wait, I didn't do that though. <laughs> Suddenly I got all three. <laughs> is it cause- is it cause I played through it already before? <laughs> I don't know. But I hit new game though. Hmm. And a nice variety of colors. Looking good. What do you think? Does it feel like everything's meshing in? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's a bit patchwork, but and my thoughts are swirling, but it feels like me. Thank you. See you on your side. To reinforce himself. Who are you? Maybe I'll try Crow Child again. Oh wow. No, I'm not Crow Child. See ya. Good luck. See you on your side, Shiro. See you tomorrow. Boing. Nearly. Nearly. Crow Mother, Crow Mother, where are you? Where'd you go? Mom! I need to stay here. I'm sorry, but I do. Why wouldn't you? This is your nest, is it not? Here, have some tin foils. I'm not the same. I'm different than the egg. I've had more put into me. I'm not a crow child anymore. What? I'm Shiro. I'm Shiro. <clears throat> that happens. But I'm not what you want. I'm not complete. Not in the right way. Not in a way that you want. Y you said so. Yourself. Oh, Shiro. What I want is for you to live. I gave so many shinies to you, so many quiet eggs, and it worked. Enough that you want life. I don't care that you what you need to be made out of. You found things that are sparkly in you. You found yourself shiny in you. You found an interesting smell and shape and make it you, and here you live. You remake yourself a thousand times as much wrappers and bones as you need. And I'm here, happy. Happy that you are here and found a way you want to be. I... Tell me what you need your wing trash to me, and I'll find it for you. No egg wells wanted to live. No egg cells. No egg else fledged. <laughs> I will not let you be in a way that doesn't make you want to be at all. You have a new trash wing? I did not give. Yeah, I, I met some friends, I think. Then tell, tell! 
And you can help me clean the stickies and make new shining feathers and wrappers. And it is good, the sticky, you know? Yeah, it is good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if there is another ending, but I think this is okay. <laughs> oh. Tiny crow child. Tiny child growing up. And oh, how it ties into Queen, Quinn and Teddy. <laughs> Sobs, shits, and cries. Oh. This is the kind of game that you play at like 3 a.m. at midnight, and then you look out your window and you're like, what am I? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> yeah, man. I. I really like the story, and I really like sort of like the message that they're trying to get at. Um, how basically when you're born, you're sort of you feel like I guess hmm, like basically growing up and like is really coming into yourself. Like it's uh really figuring out who you are, right? And, I mean, hmm, I guess for me, at least, I didn't know that until, like, college. Because <laughs> I was like, because I don't know why this happened, but I remember not being able to, like, properly, like, have opinions on shit. Like, I remember, this is very, very distinct, but I remember uh, one time, it was, this was in like PA class in high school, and it was like an upperclassman who was asking me like, oh, like, you know, like, w what do you do in your spare time? What do you, what do you like to do? And I, I couldn't answer her, because I was like, I don't want to say something that'll make her see me in some way. Like, I want to remain as, like, neutral as possible. But then, like, after... Whereas I realized, it's like, she, that just makes you, like, a weirdo. <laughs> you know? It was like, like, I'm... I was just like, yeah, I, I watch YouTube, I guess. And she's like, what YouTubers do you like to watch? It's like, oh, no, I don't know if I can say. Because I'm afraid if I say, like, a YouTuber that you don't like, you're gonna not like me, you know? It's like, it's like shit like that, where I don't know if this really has to do with thrashing child's message of growing into yourself but it's like it's like not having any confidence in what you're growing up to be or not having confidence in your opinions and your likes and your hobbies that sort of thing i guess yeah but now i realize it's like oh well like it's how like people talk to each other she <laughs> it's like they they uh, like shared interests and shared experiences and stuff like that is like how people connect and shit <laughs> where did I branch off to I branched off to something else but here's the thing where it's like basically growing up is basically figuring out what you like and what you don't like and when you're a kid it's it's simple shit like um, what like your favorite color or like your favorite food right but then as you get older you realize oh wait I don't have to subject myself to everything that I was taught you know like I can I can stand up and challenge some things right where so a lot of things that are more I don't know like When you're trying to explain something, but you don't quite want to get into things, it's kind of hard to explain it. <laughs> hmm. But yeah. It gets a little bit more difficult than just your favorite color. <laughs> you know? It's like, like this. Like, growing up is basically, you know, you're being told your favorite color is green your entire life, right? And then, and then hitting puberty, and then 
thinking for yourself and you're realizing, oh, wait a second, maybe my favorite color is not green after all. Maybe my favorite color is something else, something completely different from green. But my entire life so far, I believed it was green because everyone was telling me that it was green. You know? And now I'm, f I'm realizing that it might not be green. So, whoa. <laughs> And then you have an existential crisis, and then you overcome that, and you become better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! I don't know if that was coherent at all, bro. I'm so bad at explaining things, especially on the spot, dude. I, I watch so many video essays, but I can't form a proper sentence. It's so true. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah. Very cool game. I really, really, really like the styling too. The paper cutout feeling. <laughs> I don't know how to. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what to call it. Um, but like the sort of 2D puppet scenario um, that was going on. It was really cool. Uh, what else? All right, like the, yeah, the two like the sprites, and then that extended to also the menu buttons and whatnot. It's all very cool, very stylized, very cool looking game. Um, however, <laughs> looks like there is some bugs happening. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I was being way too rough with it, clicking all over the place, you know, and then I. And then all of a sudden, I could not click no more. And I'm not sure why that happened, but um, eventually, it's, it, I mean, it went back to being fine if I just didn't go to Grace's uh, section. So unfortunate, but sorry, Grace. <laughs> uh, yeah, that coupled with also um, the skipping part seemed a little wonky. Uh, I'm not sure why it wouldn't properly skip. Uh, and having to open the menu to hit skip and then and then opening the menu to hit skip again to stop it. I, I assume stop it. I'm not quite sure. It's it, it was it's a little it's a little bit of a hassle, let's say. But it's a short enough game that it, it doesn't really matter too much. If it was a super long game, then it would be a pain in the ass, but because it's a short game, it's okay. Um, yeah. Uh, that's... Oh, right. And, um... Wait, I say oh, right, but I didn't think of anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was it again? What was the thing I was... I think that was it? Was that it? Uh, I maybe? <laughs> um, I guess I can add on to, like, sort of, again, the styling part. I really liked how it's probably because of said puppet paper style. Um, I really love how animated the sprites and everything was. Um, like, it felt very, very nice. Uh how everything was moving and coming together like it was very cinematic it was very it was very cool like like watching a scene play out properly like that in a visual novel game yeah i liked how uh crow child was like stand on people's shoulders and like hop off the shoulder and hop on to other things <laughs> it was really cute and i really really like how crow mother looked too, with the wings and also her movements were very bird. <laughs> Good stuff. But yeah. Alright. Cool. That's it for me. Time to find another Spooktober game. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you later probably. Teehee.